Our own Jim Norton, jetting all over the country, spreading his disease. Yeah, taking my comedy too far on the road. <laughs> uh, a little too far. Comedy gone too far with comment. Jim Norton. I'm gone. not going to comment on it. I just read it. I just want to say those Columbine murders were hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> all those shattered dreams. <laughs> now, Jim, I think you're going too far with your comedy uh, here. That's comedy gone That's too comedy far. gone too far. Tear stained parental faces, a focus group. How about some stomach cancer? for all of you. <laughs> Drop dead with your awful kids. If <laughs> your focus group and your rotten hypersensitive children. I just read this email and if I had hepatitis and a squirt gun, I would blast you and your stupid kids. <laughs> I'm so tired of comedians and entertainers being blamed for your failures as parents. I don't get any credit when these little scumbags are good math. I don't want to take any responsibility when they put on trench coats on Hitler's birthday, which I'm glad they do. Great point. I don't want credit either. I don't want credit for your children's success. I'm not concerned with your kids. Uh, Jim, we needed this Friday. I apologize. I just <laughs> you're like, that's okay. I know. You're I know. like three days too I late. I'm not trying to get into it. You I want to explain it? He's, uh, he's talking about a little letter that we got from a concerned parent. They get together and they talk about... Can uh, I read his name? Can you give out his name? Can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, read, read my transcripts of Friday. You'll see I concur. Brent Richards, his name is. <laughs> Brent Richards. Good old Brent, Brent Richards. straightening out the community. What they, an annoying... They get together, a bunch of parents, and they get a they form a circle, and they discuss uh, radio shows like ours, yep. and it's and a parent comedy group. like Jim Norton's. Yep. It's a parents' group, so they what they do is sit around and discuss things they feel affect their lousy children. Yep. And instead of uh, uh, maybe blaming themselves for their own parental inadequacies, they turn around and blame uh, comedy yep. and radio shows, TV, movies, video games, everything else except the fact that uh, maybe their children are building bombs and planning to shoot up their school in their garage. And they have no clue about it until it happens. You neglectful, middle-class scumbags. I have no mercy for any of you. If your kids can't handle the radio, then be firm parents and turn it off or tell them to pony up and get pistols. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't care about your dumb kids. Yes. I just don't Rob care about it. Rob effing O. Ugh. We all sit around. And how many of these parents... How many of you take your kids to the church, regardless of what these vultures yep. are doing to your little boys, you dirtbags? Worry yeah. about comedy. Shift the blame because you're awful parents. Ugh. Comedy gone too far, you dirtbags. Because the second the church is uh, evil and bad, their whole world comes apart. Yeah. The whole thing that, that holds them together and makes them think that they're Ugh. raising wonderful children because they're going to this church. It, the second that comes apart and unwinds, it all comes apart. At least after my act, the kid doesn't have his pants around his ankles doing the duck walk, you <laughs> jackasses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Body of Jim, amen. I, yeah. <laughs> That's not wine, and that will come out with a little club soda. <laughs> I'm supposed to be concerned. <laughs> that re I just, I, I'm, oh, I don't God. mean to rehash. Comedy doesn't go far it. enough. Right. I, that, guy, that guy is so pompous to think that he's decided how far comedy is allowed to go. And they monitor the radio pro. And if your daughter was all nervous and afraid yeah. because of what was happening during the 50s, I can't wait to see what happens when someone takes out their mule and says, look, do this or you're walking home. <laughs> and I don't like, can I not wait? I hope I'm the guy that does it. And the fact that this guy called me a pedophile and a racist, yes, you are perceptive, sir. <laughs> it has nothing to do. I'm not a racist, you jackass. I hate kids that are black, white, yellow, all of them. All the little bastards. I had such an annoying cat. I don't mean to come in like, you know, a bat out of heck. Hudla, hudla. <laughs> But I, I had to buy some. I, I will get all. I'll, I'll shut. Go! No, Dude, we love I, this. I had a cab ride today. I went down to PC Richards. I had to buy something. Um, oh my God! An electronic I, component. Yeah, my, my TV came. I got wow! Take, my friend Jay. Wrote you decided to start watching TV. Good yeah, move. Well, my buddy Good Jay. Move. And thank you, Jay. I, I went down to PC. Richards. Did you hook it up to the aerial on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bunny ears. <laughs> And I, I'm in a cab coming home. I had to buy something. And, and, and I'm on 14th in, in uh, Columbus. Uh, not Columbus. Stupid. I'm 80 blocks off. I mean, uh, what, what is 14th? What is Union it's Square? Insane. Union I love Square. It. Yeah. And the cabbie, I don't know what he was. He was Malaysian or something. I'm uh -huh. sorry to be a racist there, Brent. <laughs> um, oh, I hope, I hope you die the day before your daughter gets married. I hope you fall face first into the wedding cake in the dressing room. Just as you're about to walk her down the aisle, I hope your heart stops. <laughs> Blame-shifting bag of vomit you are. And uh, I'm in the cab coming back up. 
And I know comedy gone too far. Well, how about cabbies that don't know where they're going? I it was uh, going up Park Avenue, and I'm like, dude, because I live on the west side. You know, yeah. I don't want to say where because all the gals will show up. <laughs> you know, give hair a little tussle in the name of Father and the Son. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Blame entertainment, you blame shifting middle class zilches. <laughs> it's all entertainers' well, fault because you have to have two cars in the garage. Your fat wife has to work so she can feel like she has a career. Open your legs, stupid, and clean the toilet. That's your duty. Let a husband go out and do his banking job or whatever it is he does. Scumbag. Um, so I'm in the cab, and I tell the guy, going, I got to go to the west side. I tell him where I got to go. And we're going up. This is around one something, lunch hour. And he's like, we're going to go right up Park Avenue. And it took me 40 minutes to go up Park Avenue. Oh, my God. And over 40. So why didn't we just go to JFK Airport and then double back? <laughs> this scumbag. I'm not a tourist. I live here. And the right. whole time I'm in the cab, I'm obsessed. Turn the radio off, kids, because I'm going to say something mean. <laughs> I was obsessed with grabbing his thinning hair and biting his Malaysian ear. And then just screaming, <laughs> savage, into his ear. <laughs> into his bloody hole. Into his bloody hole. That and used he, to be an ear. I wanted to grab. He had thinning squiggy from Laverne and Shirley. Old cancer head. That's what I kept thinking. His thinning 1950s. He had like Rumsfeld hair. And I wanted to bite his effing ear. Oh, I'm just kidding, kids. I didn't mean really bite his ear. I met in a fun radio way. <laughs> and Al Pacino is not really a Cuban drug dealer. And, Al, and, 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 and you know, Marlon Brando was never really a mafia don. You dummies. You and your dumb high school kids. Columbine oh. happened because of over in, uh, protective parents like yourselves forcing your kids away from you. Yeah. You did it. And turning their turning their heads when they because it can't possibly be my kid. I'm such a kid. great parent. What was John Walker's favorite comedy program? Huh? What was that? Yeah. What did he listen to when he shipped off to uh, Afghanistan Ugh. to start hating Americans? People... Yeah, I'm sure it was a radio show. It wasn't the fact that his parents were such dysfunctional pieces of crap that uh, he he left and decided to start uh, uh, contributing to a war against all America. And this guy just, and, and this guy, and again, I'll, I'll get off this. Imagine, comma, if you will, imagine if you, you know you're imagine dealing with if a you pompous will. ass when someone says, imagine if you will. This is not imagine unsolved if mysteries, you, will. you just bag. Pitiful portrait of a lame-ass, <laughs> low-life loser. Exactly. <laughs> imagine if you will in the Twilight Zone. With one of your long, young listeners, imagine if you will, one of your young listeners performing the same violent acts on women as you profess to find funny. You're right, it wouldn't be funny. I would pull down my trousers and do a little bag whacking <laughs> if I heard about that. You jag off with stupid kids. We, we were talking about that, that same line, and uh, if you have t uh, consenting adults and the guy says to the girl, hey, you want to get in a 55-gallon drum? I'm going to dump stuff on you. You scream a little, you know, and then I pull you out and we have some sex or something. He has a problem with that? Somebody doing the same thing we did here. It's a, did we a a abduct people uh, from the streets, shove them in a barrel, and start uh, putting uh, food products on them? Contrary to my suggestion, no, I you know, didn't. know, exactly. <laughs> Contrary to what we wanted to do. The way it was presented on the air and the way it was, was uh, these girls came in of their own accord and had a great time doing it. It was a lot of fun. The guy doesn't uh, seem to realize that he thinks uh, we brought them in at gunpoint again one of Jim's suggestions yeah, exactly. and uh, did this to him he's a low life loser no nothing and here's and, and, and the thing you you're arguing logically and logic does no good because what happens is this guy and his group they're based in dishonesty they're based mm -hmm. in intellectual arrogance and blame shifting so that you can't argue logically no, no. with 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 a garbage they'll just like this. shift it somewhere else what, whatever, somewhere well, else well, somewhere I'm going to say is fault. if you're a member of a group like this and you're doing good things for your kids good for you but if you're attacking entertainment I hope your kids are pregnant young and I hope they're failures and then you find out they don't even like this show and if they can't handle it they're weak and you're bad parents <laughs> Jim, I think I did, I, I think um Friday, when we discussed this, was it Friday or Thursday? It was Friday. Last week, whatever, yeah. I, I recommended, or I had hoped, that as they were sitting around in their little meeting, all their kids in the playroom, playing together, having a little play date, all their kids, yeah. with some wholesome stuff on the uh, TV, and, and little um, cocktail franks, maybe, that the wives made. They all got together as the men talked yeah. about what was best for their kids, yeah. and comedy gone uh, uh, over the line, and... Then the women are making iced tea for the guys, and the kids are all playing with their toys. And a tractor trailer goes awry, plows into the house, killing everybody. <coughs> would that just be? Would that just give your heart joy? You know, you know what would give my heart joy? The look on the little puppy's face as he just saw the wheels bouncing over the bodies. The little puppy, <laughs> all sad. 
He's just getting his little fur tussled a minute ago. And what happened? Now there's just truck 